So today we're going to create a sliding automatic door similar to a grocery store or even more futuristic a ship like Star Trek where you walk up to it and it automatically opens and closes as you come toward it. So to do this go over to filebase.com and get yourself the sci-fi double doors. If you do come to the live workshops we do give these out on our streams so uh, let me encourage you to come down and check us out. Um, once you do that, we're going to go ahead and select the actual doors and put box colliders on both of them. We also want to add colliders to the frame. So instead of making a uh, mesh collider, what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll create a 3D object, a 3D box, and we'll just make these the columns and the column on the top of the actual um, door. And then we're just going to hide the mesh renderer so we still retain the colliders without the actual visual. Then create another box, and this is going to be our door trigger. And in our box collider, we're going to make sure we set it to is trigger and turn off mesh renderer. Then we're going to go and create a brand new script, and in it, we're going to call it our auto door trigger. And we're going to attach this to our auto door trigger uh, box. In here, we're going to do a void on trigger enter. So when our player who has the player tag or the player, yeah, the player tag uh, walks into our trigger, we're going to know it's a tag. Um, so on trigger enter, we're going to compare the tag and make sure that the door opens on the debug.log. And if the player exits, we want to do a uh, door, uh, a closed door uh, debug.log. Also make sure um, with the compare tag, you put the other dot compare tag. Uh, that way we know what we are comparing, which is the other uh, collider object. So when we walk into our door, we will see down below, it's opening the door in the console and closing the door when we leave. So we know this actually works. So now let's move on to the animation. So create a new animation and call it auto door open and drop it onto the parent door object. This is going to create an animator for our parent object right here. Go ahead and open your animator window. And for me, I always like to set an empty idle animation right at the very front so that it holds on this animation. So I'm going to set this as my default layer. And then I'm going to create another animation called auto door close. And I'm going to have the uh, auto door and auto open and close on these two. Then I'm going to select each one of these doors and hit the record button. And if you right click on the position, you can add a key. So I'm going to add a key at zero and I'm going to scroll like half a second forward and move the door open. Then I'm going to do the exact inverse. I'm going to actually copy these keyframes and paste them into the auto door close. And then I'm just going to swap the positions of those keyframes so that it starts from like, let's say the open position and goes to a close. Right click on empty idle, make a transition to the auto door close and then make that transition to the auto door open and back in reverse. So we know this thing starts on close when we begin this game. Then what we want to do is create a new trigger and this is going to be, I'm sorry, a parameter. It's going to be called a bool. It's going to be a bool. It's going to call it open door. And then when we go into our animations, let's turn off exit time. And for the condition, we want to check to see is the open door uh, condition met? Is it true? Then go ahead and open the door. If the uh, auto open door is false, go ahead and close the door. Then we're going to go into our script and we're going to serialize our field and put a position for our or a place for our animators. So we're going to grab that parent sci-fi door animator and drop that in there. And then all we have to do is say anim.setBool and we just say go ahead and open the door and set that to true when the door is true and it's supposed to be open and invert it when anim is uh, open door is set to false when the player exits the trigger. Once that's done, go ahead and save that out and give that a test. There you go, it looks exactly correct. Just needs a little bit of like audio. So we did audio managers recently in our workshops and so we're gonna use our audio manager that we created to play a sound effect when we do walk close to the door that makes it open and it plays an opposite sound effect when we exit and leave the door. Perfect. 
New to coding? Feel like those tutorials are speaking an alien language? Yeah, we've been there. That's why we built GameDev HQ, a place where you can actually learn by building. Our monthly membership gives you access to 900 plus hours of hands-on training from 2D to 3D to VR, AR, first person, and third person games. Plus, you'll get our 12,000 game asset library, daily check-ins, one-on-one tech support, and live workshops six days a week where we'll cover the stuff that you want to learn. We're not just developers, we're gamers too, and we love helping people like you turn that first line of code into something awesome. Come hang out with us and let's build something together. Check us out at GameDevHQ.com.